A spinner, as shown, is spun three times. Using a tree diagram, determine the probability of the spinner landing on three red sectors, a red sector followed by two green sectors, a red and two green sectors in any order, at least one green sector. We can first draw a tree di diagram to show all our outcomes. We can count that there are eight possible outcomes. So on our first spin, we can land on green or we can land on red. If we land on green on the first spin, in the second spin we can land on green or land on red. If we land on red in the first spin, in the second spin we can land on green or we can land on red. If we land on green the first time and green the second time, on the third spin we can land on green or red. If we land on green the first time and red the second time, we can land on green or red for the third spin. If we land on red the first time and green the second time, we can land on green or red for the third spin. If we land on red the first time and red the second time, we can land on green or red for the third spin. So this is our list of outcomes. So we can land on green, 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 G, G, G. Green, green, red, G, G, or. Green, red, green, G, or, G. Green, red, red, G, or, or. Red, green, green, or, G, G. Red, green, red, or, G, or. Red, red, green, or, or, G. Red, 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 or, or, or. The order in which you write these is very, very important. So we can see that we have eight outcomes altogether. And that makes sense because we have two options on the first spin, two options on the second spin, two options on the third spin, and two multiplied by two multiplied by two is eight. So we have eight outcomes altogether. So part one, work out the probability that we land on three red sectors. So the probability of getting three red sectors red, 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 appears only once as an outcome. So we see we have or, or, or down at the bottom here. So landing on red in the first spin, landing on red in the second spin, landing on red in the third spin, there's only one outcome where that happens, over a total number of eight outcomes. So the probability of or, or, or is going to be one over eight. Because remember, probability is what we want over the total. So we want to land on red, red, red. There's only one option where that happens. So it's going to be one divided by the total number of outcomes, which is eight. Part two, what's the probability of landing on a red sector followed by two green sectors? So if we have a look at our outcomes, we have one option where we have red followed by two green sectors. So the probability of a red sector followed by two green sectors is red, green, green, and it appears only once as an outcome. So the probability of or G, G is 1 over 8. So part 3. What's the probability of landing on a red and two green sectors in any order? So we're interested in one red and two green. So we have two green and a red there. We have two green and a red there. We have two green and a red there. And that's three in total. So the probability of a red and two green sectors in any order we count how many times red, green, green appears in the outcomes, ignoring the order. There are three outcomes out of eight in which this occurs. So the probability of or G, G in any order is three over eight. Part four, what's the probability of landing on at least one green sector? So probability of at least one green sector. At least one means that we are looking for one or more of the required outcomes. This is very important. The phrasing of the question is very, very important. So we count how many outcomes have one or more green in them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outcomes that have at least one green in them. So the probability of at least one green is going to be seven over eight. Alternatively, this could have been found as the probability of at least one green is equal to one minus the probability of no green. And the probability of no green is the same thing as the probability of all red. And there's only one option where there's all red, so that's going to be one over eight. 
So it would be 1 minus 1 over 8, which is 7 over 8. So it doesn't matter which method you use, but it is important to note that probabilities must always add up to 1. So the probability of landing on at least one green sector is 7 over 8.